So we have a horn that's inoperative. So we want you to go out in the shop and practice diagnosing horns. So the first thing you gotta understand is every horn is gonna probably have a fuse, a relay, and then it's gonna have two separate circuits. It's gonna have a circuit for the horn and a circuit for the switch and the relay. So we, what we need to understand is how is the system wired schematically? So you definitely need to refer to a uh, wiring schematic. So we have two circuits in this. We have the load side, which is the horn uh, side. This is where the switch of the relay turns on the horn and it uh, goes to ground. And then we have the control side. The control side is the fuse, the uh, coil. You have a clock spring, which is on, allows you to steer your car. So right at the steering column, you have, you have a clock spring. And then it goes through to the horn pad switch. And this is the switch that you actually push to make the horn turn on. So when you want to activate the horn, you push this switch closed. That applies a ground. And then power goes through the fuse, through the relay, through the clock spring to ground. And then when this coil energizes on the control side, then on the load side, that pulls a magnetic field, which closes this switch. Power goes through the fuse, through the switch, to the horn, to ground, okay? So we have two circuits, the control side and the load side. So now what do we need to know? We need to know where our, our control panels are at, our power distribution boxes are. There's two different ones in this car. There's the under hood one, and there's also one inside the passenger compartment next to the center console. Everything we need to do is in this control panel. So we do not need to go inside the car. Now we need to know what relay we want. So the horn relay is this relay and this map needs to be horizontally matching this. So if you, if you look at the wiring schematic right here, here's our horn relay. And then you come over here and here's our horn relay on the car and it's loose. And I really think the problem with this uh, relay is not the relay, it's the connection because this is loose inside the, the power distribution box versus if I put in another one, it's much tighter. So I think we have some loose connections in there, but we're gonna test this relay and figure out if the relay is good or bad. So let's go ahead and pull this relay out. So the purpose of this whole skill is I want you to diagnose a horn circuit and I also want you to know how to diagnose or test a relay. So we're gonna use a, a DVOM ohm, uh, digital volt ohmmeter. We're gonna use it on the ohm setting right here. So you're gonna go all the way to the ohm setting, which is the horseshoe, okay? We're gonna put this on a stand. Now, one thing about our ohm meter, it measures electrical resistance. On a relay, we need to also understand uh, the OL versus the L. The OL means there's no connection. The, when it goes to zeros, it means you have a connection. So we have a connection and we have no connection, which is, means out of limit. Okay, so another term that we use in uh, automotive is there's no continuity. And then when you connect it together, we have continuity. So continuity means no resistance connected. No continuity means that we have no connection and it's out of limit, okay? So when we test this relay, we're gonna be using all those features. We're gonna measure resistance, we're gonna measure if it has continuity, and we're gonna measure if it has no continuity. All right, so I have a magnifying lens because it's really important that we understand that most relays are gonna have a map. And so the control side of the relay, let me turn it where you can see it in the right, is gonna be pins 85, and 86, that's the coil side of the relay. This is the control side. The, uh, the load side is gonna be pins 87 and 30. So a lot of relays will give you that diagram and then you turn it over and then the pins are labeled. Okay, so it's really hard to see. It's upside down. Or it is upside down? There you go. Okay. And let me know if you could see those, Jordy. Mm, yeah, now I can right now. Yeah, so usually what happens is, is pin uh, 85 and 86 
will be opposite corners and pins 30 and 87 will be opposite corners. So now let's go ahead and test this. So how do we know if we got it right? So pins 85 and 86 will have resistance. Pins 87 and 30 will have, uh, the switch will be open. So it'll be OL. So let's go ahead and try pins. I believe these are pins 35 or 85 and 86. And we do. So we have 92.9 ohms. And you could actually go onto all data and find out if that's an acceptable resistance. So 92.76, somewhere in there, it bounces back and forth. That's the control side. So my coil is good. Now let's check the switch side. And the switch side, I'm suspecting it's going to be OL. And it is. Okay. So looking at my relay... These two terminals are our switch side. These two terminals are our coil side. So now we're going to use a, just a regular 9-volt battery. And let's verify that it's a volt. It's a 9-volt battery. It should be pretty close. It's an old battery, though. And I'm going to just measure the voltage and see. So I'm at 8.72 volts. It's getting weak. It's an old battery, but this will work. So the first thing I'm going to do is check to see if my relay clicks. So I got a negative side on this. I'm gonna hook up my negative lead here. And then I have my positive side over on this side. So I'm gonna hook this up to 86, and I'm gonna hook this up to 85, and I should hear a click. And you can actually feel it click. So this relay is working on the control side. I'm right now mimicking the horn pad inside the car. And this relay is clicking. Now, we still don't know if it's working. So what we need to do now is hook up an ohm meter. So I'm going to go back to ohms, which is the horseshoe. And I'm going to check the resistance or the continuity, really. I'm going to check the continuity of the switch itself using jumper wires and an ohm meter. Okay, so right now I have no power, no power going to the uh, to the relay. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to the positive side of the battery and this should go to zeros. So, it's working. No power, OL. Power, zeros, no resistance. This relay is good. So we verified this relay is good. I really think the problem is we had a poor connection. So I'm going to make sure I have this all the way down. And let's try a horn. And you can see it works now, but watch. If I move it just a little bit, nothing. If I push this down and get a really good seat, so the relay is working, and that's what this uh, uh, skill that we want you to practice. Check the horn circuit, check the relay. All right, Mr. Lear, go ahead and test the horn. So now we have a car. I want to show you how you kind of find the horn. Almost all horns are up in the front of the car. So usually in front of your AC condenser right here, and you just start looking for that horn, and I don't see it here. And it's not up here. You got to look really deep inside the front bumper. And you'll look, and then there it is. Right up. And let me position this light so we can see it better. Right up here. So this is my horn connector right here. And so what we want to do is we want to disconnect this horn connector. And we want to verify we have power going to it. So I have Mr. Lear is going to hit the horn. And I'm going to verify I have power going to this. This is what we want to do if we uh, didn't know it was the loose connection. We would go, okay, the relay test's good. Now let's see if there's power going to our horn underneath the car. So we're just going to use a test light. Let me go get one. So here's our test light. We're going to go underneath our car where our horn is near the 
right front, up inside the right front fender. I gotta hook this up to a good ground. So a good body bolt like this right here would be an excellent ground. And then we gotta grab the other end and we're gonna install this into that connector. So let me do that. So, so I noticed that this is a two pin connector. So one pin's gonna be ground and one pin's gonna be power. So one's gonna show power and one's not. Some horns are case grounded, so it'll only be one wire. Go ahead, Mr. Larry, at the horn. All right, that's gonna be the ground side. Let's check the power side. Try it now. All right, maybe I don't have a good ground. So I need to reposition my ground side on this. So let me do that. All right, so I repositioned from this ground bolt to this ground bolt, which is the subframe bolt. And I actually have a, a, a it works now. Mr. Lear, hit the uh, horn. I'm hitting it. Yeah, and I want them to hear that the relay is clicking. That relay is a good relay. It's clicking. So now let's check our power and ground. So I'm gonna go up here. All right, I'm gonna plug this in right here to the power side of the, of the connector. Go ahead, Mr. Lear. All right, that must be the ground now. Yep, so there's the power side. And then the other side is the ground. So Mr. Nalir and I were talking and there's a way to use a test light to check for your ground circuit and your power circuit is we're hooking up our test light now to the ground side. And then I'm gonna hook this up to the power side Let me see, right there. And Miss Allaire, you wanna go ahead? Yep. And so now, because we have the test light hooked up to both the terminals, we know our ground circuit's good. And then if this was the case, then your only choice is to replace the horn uh, because the electrical uh, circuit tests okay. And then you would need to go really in a weird position and replace this horn assembly right here. Okay, so going back to our wiring schematic, we showed you how to uh, test a relay outside of a car. Uh, we also showed you how to check for power right here, the dark green wire going to the horn. And we checked the ground side of the horn by using a, the test light, connecting the test light to the dark green and then to the black wire for ground. So we just bypassed the horn with the test light and it lit. That told us the ground's good. What we did not do is we did not check the control side, which is the horn switch, the clock spring and ground that controls the relay. So we have two testers over here. This kind of helps us clarify things. The first one we're going to use is uh, uh, this relay circuit tester. You check out, you pull the relay out, you find the, the tester that matches right here. This plugs in right on the top like this. And then you just stick this inside. And then uh, let me go ahead and press the horn. The horn should still work. But now we could go ahead and we could test that ground circuit going through the horn. And we're just gonna use a test light. So first thing we're gonna do is the, the there's always power going to this. So this is pins 85 and 86. So what it does, it gives you pins 85 and 86 on this side, which is the horn pad or the switch side. And then this is the horn side, sorry. So this is the switch side or the control side, and this is the load side of the horn. So we could go ahead and we could see if we have power going to the coil. So I'm gonna hook this up to ground, and I should see power going to our corner. Oh, I know what I just did, I just blew the fuse. Oh, there we go. Loose connection. Yeah, there's our loose connection right there. So I have, Power going to uh, one of the pins, chances are, I think it's pin 
doesn't even tell me on the schematic. So we were on, to test the power, we had the test light hooked up to negative. Now we're gonna switch the test light to positive to check the ground side of the circuit, which is the horn pad. So now I'll put this here and it should light when Mr. Lear hits the horn. And that, and what that just did, that just verified this entire circuit is good. Because I put the test light right here and I had Mr. Uh, Lear hit the horn and then we saw the ground through the test light. The, pre the first test I did was I hooked this up to ground and I checked for power right here at the relay after the fuse. We had power, then I switched it to the positive side and I checked for ground on the opposite side of the coil of the relay, which then told me, told me that this is all good. Really good little tool to access all this wiring right at the relay. The last tool that I like is actually the easiest of all the tests we showed you, okay? This is just a circuit tester. It does not test the relay, it tests the circuit. You plug it in, make sure it's off by the way. You plug it in to, this, uh, to where the relay goes and you can control anything you want. I could go to, so we did that relay. That's the horn relay. And then I can go ahead, pull this relay out, and let's see what this turns on. And let's see. And it turns on our headlights. Perfect. We could even do the larger ones if we want, but this is not, does not test the relays. That's really important you understand. This tests the entire circuit, okay? So that's, all the different ways you could test a horn circuit, or for that matter, most circuits on a car.